But if you have a high-end home, you need to be extra strategic about positioning for the best buyer, pricing your home, presenting the home, and making sure it's exposed to as many people as possible who are looking. We are seeing, at least I'm seeing, a lot of folks coming from other metro centers across Canada to retire in Lethbridge. So that's great news for the high-end market in Lethbridge, but there's one dynamic that hasn't changed in a very long time, and I've been doing this almost a decade, and that is sales by price range, the bell curve, 250 to three, 250 to three. That's our, that's the most buyers right there. 200 to 400, that's the top of the curve. Average house prices in Lethbridge have gone up a little bit. We're, I think around 318, 320 average house price. Used to be in the low 300s even a year or two ago. So that's great, that's great news, but if your house is over 600,000, you are in this 600 to 700 range, 35 buyers in a whole entire year. 35 in a whole entire year, three buyers a month. If you're 700 and up, that's these little guys here. Oh look, hardly any buyers, oh no. 21 sales in an entire year for 700 all the way to a million plus. 21 buyers, not even two buyers a month, in the entire city of Lethbridge, 100,000 people, okay? So if your house is 600 plus, a couple buyers a month, and they're looking, they're looking out in Coaldale, they're looking in West Lethbridge, they're looking in Six Mile, they're looking all over before they narrow it down. So you're, you're competing for those few buyers, and if you're 700 plus, yikes. It's like a needle in a haystack. If you do everything right, you can sell. You can sell your house. But if you price yourself right out of the market because you're one of those folks who, well, I bought my house from the builder two or three years ago. I paid GST. I had to put 50 grand into the yard for a fence and landscaping and blinds and da 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 da, right? Has the market had enough time to go up in value and pay you back for every dollar you put into that house only two, three, four years ago? Possibly not. Depends if you got really good value on the purchase because you make your money on the purchase. That being said, your primary residence should not be viewed as a profit center in your life. It's where you live. It's where you build your family. It's a safe, comfortable place, respite from all the other things out there in the big bad world. Looking to make a profit, tricky. It can happen, but guess what? If you price yourself out of the market, you could be waiting for a bird on a windshield. And I say bird on a windshield because you know what? If you drive to Calgary and back enough times in a year or over the course of two or three years, eventually, a bird might hit your windshield. So if you're not super strategic with pricing, positioning, presentation, marketing, all those things on your very high-end home where you're looking for one of these buyers here, then you're not just looking for a needle in a haystack, you're looking for a bird on a windshield. And that's tough, that's stressful, and it's a gamble. It doesn't mean you'll never get the bird on the windshield but are you willing to wait it out? Because what if the bird doesn't hit your windshield for six months? And by the time six months has passed, the perceived value of your home is now less, even if you're st still sitting at the same less price or maybe you've tweaked it a little bit. What's the first thing a buyer says when they walk in the door on a house that's been sitting? How long's it been on the market, Carrie? Oh, 97 days, why? There's only two possible reasons a house sits on the market. There's something wrong with it, like a fatal flaw, floor plan, location, smells bad, looks bad, or it's overpriced, or both. So remember, 
a great realtor can help you find that one buyer, that awesome buyer, the needle in a haystack, which is right here. But a great realtor can't be responsible if you're waiting for a bird on a windshield. If you've priced yourself out of the market, maybe you can't sell at market value. Maybe you have to not sell your house yet, or maybe you have to make some hard decisions because you really do need to move because something has changed in your life. So give me a call or shoot me a text if you have any questions about strategically positioning your home for the best possible result in this hot seller's market and you have a high-end home to sell. 3827335, you can text or call or visit me at carryflatla.com. In the meantime, have an awesome weekend and we'll see you for next Friday Fire. Take care.